What's up guys? Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another V-Ray for SketchUp tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about how to add V-Ray grass to your models using the V-Ray fur modifier. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in the past one of the things that's been really difficult when working with renderings is adding grass or any kind of fur or anything like that. Partially because especially within SketchUp you get you usually end up with so much geometry that uh, everything comes a little bit to a standstill. Still. Well, what V-Ray has is it has an excellent tool in here for adding grass to different faces within your model. So in this case, what I've done is I've created a little bit of rolling terrain in here using SketchUp sandbox tools just to have something a little bit more realistic than just kind of a flat surface. Um, and also to demonstrate that this works on surfaces that aren't necessarily flat. And so to start off, the first thing I want to know is that this only works with a group or a component. So I couldn't be in here and just select this face and add grass to it. What I need to do is I need to group my geometry so that I can add grass to it. And so the way that this is going to work is to start off, we're going to select our group that we want to add grass to. And you're going to go up to the V-Ray objects toolbar and you're going to look for the option for add fur to selection and so when you click on this what this is going to do is it's going to add some dotted lines in here and it's also going to add some little notes or little images here indicating that this is a v-ray grass object so that's basically indicating that now for v-ray it's going to come in here and it's going to apply grass whenever we run a render so let's go ahead and run an interactive render and so it's a little bit hard to see, so we're gonna zoom in. But this is actually rendering blades of grass inside this object. So you can see how this is basically applying grass material to this face within SketchUp. And one of the things we're gonna have to change, or it's applying a grass material to this inside V-Ray without adding all of that geometry within SketchUp. So it's really nice because you get to avoid all that instability that comes with all that extra geometry. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and change some of the options in here for this grass. Because like for example, the grass in here is white and we wanna change the color. And so to change the settings of a V-Ray object like grass, you're going to go up into your V-Ray Asset Editor. When you click on your V-Ray Asset Editor, you want to click on the little box in here for geometry. And what that's going to do is that's going to show all of your V-Ray objects in here. So in this case, the only V-Ray object we have in the model is this V-Ray fur. And so when we click on that, um, you may not see this window off to the right, so click on this little arrow. And what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to make some changes. And so this is where you can change all the settings for the way the grass looks. So the first thing we want to do is we want to apply a material to our grass to make it green instead of white. And so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this material option. And if it's not expanded, you can click the little arrow right here. But we're going to start off and we're just going to click on this button. And so clicking this button is going to turn the material option on within your grass. And so right now what this does is this only allows you to select objects that are in your model or materials that are in your model. So you want to use this um, you want to use this drop down in order to select the material that you want. Well, sometimes what you may need to do cuz you need your material to be in your model is you may just want to up um, draw a little face off to the side and then go find the color that you want to apply. So in this case I want to apply this color G08. So I'm going to apply that to this face. Well now this is considered inside the model and so now it'll show up on our list of materials. And so I'm going to click this drop down. Now I should be able to find color G08 in here. And so let's go back to our interactive render. So now when we go back to our interactive render, what you're going to notice is that grass is now getting rendered as a green material. So if I kind of zoom in, you can see how these individual blades of grass are now getting rendered within V-Ray. And so another thing you're going to notice is right now what you have is you have grass coming out of a face. Well, the problem with that face is it's white too. So what we want to do is we want to go apply a material to that. And generally speaking, I like to apply like a SketchUp material to this instead of just a solid color because it kind of breaks up the background of the glass or the grass a little bit. And so I'm just going to drag my interactive render off to the side for a second and I'm going to apply 
a grass material to this face because as you can see when I zoom out this is what that looks like so it needs kind of a green background so in this case what we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply this we're gonna apply a grass material to this object so in this case I'm gonna apply a grass dark green just to the outside of this object and so now if I bring my render back you can see how now I've got my grass in here but I've also got kind of a green background so everything doesn't look super unnatural and so You'll notice if I kind of zoom in on my little pavers that I have here, the grass is kind of going up around them, which is what we want. But we want to make a few more changes. But now you can see how we have this background and you may need to make some adjustments to make everything line up properly. So in this case, I'm gonna leave it as is, but you might want to consider making this grass dark green like a darker color or something like that. But in this case, I want to go through the rest of the grass options. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make my grass thicker. I want more grass around this object. So in order to do that, I'm going to go up to my main section of my V-Ray fur and I'm going to adjust my count. And so what the count is going to do is that's going to adjust how much grass is applied to this model. So if I drag this over to four and you watch this, you're going to get a lot more grass getting rendered in here. But you can see how this is also taking longer in order to do this. But you can see how this grass is a lot thicker now that I did that. So you can adjust this to have more grass, less grass. I mean, maybe in this case, I'm going to bring this down to like a three. Note that you can click in this box and type in a value. And then this will come in here and this will adjust based on that. So you can adjust the amount of grass that you have in here in your first area. And you can either do that per area or per face, but you can kind of play around with that a little bit. So you can see how that's got my grass in here. Well, now I can come in here and I can adjust things like the length. And so if we really kind of zoom in in here, you're going to notice that these grass objects are getting applied. Basically, they're basically little cones in here. So you can see how they have a wider base and then a thinner tip. Well, if you come in here and you adjust the length, then those are just going to get shorter. So like if I bring those down to like a two or something like that, then those are going to look a little more maybe well manicured or mowed or something like that. You can see how my grass pieces are going to get smaller. And so then when I zoom out, um, then when I zoom out, you can see how I get a different look. And if you do make these smaller, you may want to consider um, upping your count a little bit to kind of fill in some of these gaps. I mean, it's okay to have a little bit in here, but you don't necessarily want a lot of color showing through. And so you can also adjust things like the thickness of your grass objects that are in here. And you don't want to mess with those too much. So like for example, if I was to come in here with my thickness of my grass, and I was to bring that up to something like one, then these are going to look kind of unnatural. Um, it's going to make these all like really big cylinders in here or really big cones. And so they're going to look less realistic. And so you can kind of play around with how thick those objects are going to be. But um, you kind of want to go with whatever is going to feel good for you. So you can see how those don't really look realistic at all. So I'm going to drag that back down to like the 0.12 that I had in there before. So the taper is going to affect how wide at the bottom these are as opposed to how thick they are at the tip. So that's gonna, just going to adjust that. And then the gravity and the bend is going to adjust how much your, your grass pieces bend over. And um, like for example, if I was to take this back up to a four, these are all going to get a lot longer. But if I was to adjust the gravity or the bend, then those would bend over a lot more. So you can see how when I adjusted the bend, this grass doesn't stand up as much. It's more flat. So global scale is going to adjust the overall size of each piece of grass. So if I was to bring my global scale up to two, for example, then these pieces of grass would get twice as big. You can see how those got twice as big and you kind of have to be careful because these grass pieces are kind of showing through your objects over here. Um, but that's something you can adjust as well. Um, variance is just going to affect um, the difference between each bit blade of grass. You can see how this is kind of randomizing which direction these things face and everything else. So you can use this to kind of adjust how much your grass pieces vary. 
um, curl does exactly what it sounds like. It's going to adjust how much everything, how much your grass pieces curl inside your model. And then level of detail, what that's going to do is that's actually going to adjust um, the way that your grass is going to look as you go off into the distance. So if I was to adjust my camera so I kind of looked up like this, and I was to adjust my level of detail, that would mean that this wouldn't generate as many pieces of grass back here as it would up here to kind of speed up your model. So you can see how if you put your mouse over this, this allows you to set a distance. After that, V-Ray will decrease the density and increase the thickness of the strand. So it makes the grass pieces wider and it reduces the density so there's not as many pieces it has to render in here. So that should be enough information to get you started on grass in V-Ray. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this something you're using? Um, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.